speaking of. Before we end this direct, I actually have one more thing to show you. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Please, the Metroid or... Better yet, maybe this could be the Zelda thing I didn't even mention about. Breath of the Wild? Breath of the Wild? Breath of the Wild? The sequel to Breath of the Wild. Whoa. Alright, here's the last thing we have to show you. This is the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. No Two way. years have passed since we first announced this game, and we've been unable to share anything with you in that time. However, Are they really development about to has show been the steadily progressing. The wild. For today, we've prepared some new footage to show a bit more of the game. Please take a look. No way. No way. This is what Breath of the Wild. Here we go. Okay. What in the world? What is this? Why is Sloyd's hair like that? Oh yeah, because it doesn't have a tie. An arm. Then... This is giving me chills at this fight. Alright. What, no game title? Coming next year? You're kidding me! Thank you for watching today's Nintendo Direct. That's really it. This next trailer will be our last announcement. Please take a look. What is it? It's a Depressed of Wild sequel! Don't tell me it is! What? The Breath of the Wild sequel? Are we getting more info of the Breath of the Wild sequel? Oh my god! Oh man! This is so sick! What? What's with that thing? The Legend of Zelda? What? Tears of the Kingdom? That's the name of the Breath of the Wild sequel? Yo! Thank you for staying with us so far. This will be our last segment. Please take a look. Either Taser Kingdom or something else. I don't know. It's Tears of the Kingdom. Please, lend him your power. Thank you. Tears of the Kingdom release day, my friends, dudes, girls.
How's it going, everyone? Bien13 here, and today is indeed a day, May 12th of 2023. Yeah, you can't really see it, but I have a picture of Lincoln Zelda right here, and it's supposed to say like 5, 12, 23, but that doesn't really matter as, like I said, it's May 12th. The release date for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. But yeah, as you may saw, I have a little head start open this, opening this earlier, I mean. But if I could get the game out a little bit carefully, I should have also done this a little earlier. Wow. Pretty tight packaging for Day of Woods, but here it is. The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Have a look at this. I don't know about you guys, but Breath of the Wild is indeed one of the first few games that I own for my Switch. And, uh, yeah. I'm happy to own Tears of the Kingdom now. I originally wanted the whole Collector's Edition thing. But it was sold down the moment that I wanted to pre-order, so that's why I didn't pre-order it. But even if I didn't pre-order it, I actually still got this as an early purchase, which is the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom uh, key holder, which is pretty neat. We'll unbox these a little later. And finally, the big thing itself, I was debating on getting this, but I originally thinking I shouldn't, because I don't know if I should own too many of these Pro Controllers, but I actually have them here. The Tears of the Kingdom Edition Pro Controller. You guys want to look at it. And yeah, this is basically what I got for Tears of the Kingdom being the game, the bonus, and the Pro Controller. The Pro Controller is something I was debating on getting. Actually, I was also supposed to get the Amiibo alongside these, but it was sold out like the Collector's Edition. And yeah, let's get to unboxing all these. Alright, starting things off, we have the game and the... Uh, Pre-order bonus key holder. Let's start with the key holder first, cause I think that's something I may be interested in. Looking at the front, we have like the Triforce logo, whatnot, right here. It's in the all green, gold back. It says Tears of the Kingdom. Just want to look at it right here. And yeah, let's go ahead and open this. There's the packaging card right here. You can't really see it, but there's like a little uh, design right here. Back says Tears of the Kingdom. And here's the key holder itself. And looking at this, this look pretty neat. I do like kind of, I kind of like the gold that is going around here. The whole thing's green. Here's the front of it again, the back side says Tears of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom right here. There's like nothing. And if we open this, there's just a sponge, and this is literally the inside of the key holder. And here's it flat. So that's basically the key holder right here. Now, let's move on with the game. So, we have here The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Here's looking from the front to the side. Back. I really am pretty much excited for this game. I know it's been highly anticipated since the first few trailers and the fact that it is a sequel to Breath of the Wild makes this a little worth it. 
And not gonna lie, I haven't gone too much in Breath of the Wild, being... I haven't gone too much in Breath of the Wild, is what I mean to say, despite it being one of the first games I got with my Switch. And I... And don't get me wrong, by the way, I did play it a bit before this game, and I only done a couple of shrine quests. And for Tears of the Kingdom, there's like a lot of stuff I'm looking forward to. And I did avoid some unboxings for this, and now let's open this up. Ooh, here's the cartridge compared to uh, Breath of the Wild. This is almost a little similar to Breath of the Wild, but it's a whole lot different. And the inside's like this, right here. And yeah, that's basically the game. And last but not least, we have here the... Tears of the Kingdom Edition Pro Controller. I, I really was debating on getting this, and I was thinking that I shouldn't because I already have like four Pro Controllers. But when I first saw this, I thought maybe I could get it because I was interested enough to get it. And yeah, this is the front of the box side back shows you how to connect it like other pro controllers other side top bottom this isn't really the first uh zelda scene controller i own i have the skyward sword joy cons and yep this is indeed my fifth pro controller i wouldn't want to compare this to the other pro controllers but i don't think i would want to do it because you may already know what a Pro Controller looks like if you really own a Switch. Because if not, then you may have issues. But this is just a generic USB-C cable, USB-A to C to be exact. And here we have the Pro Controller. And there is also a Zelda bundle for the Switch OLED that came with uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Joy-Cons and whatnot. I already have a Switch so I don't really need one of those. I think I'll just set this right here where the game is. And here we go. Unwrapping the Pro Controller. Man, not gonna lie, the design is a little generic. When I first saw this, I was a little odd out by the left grip being black and the right being white. It's almost the white that you saw in the Smash Bros. Pro Controller. The front of it's like this. Shoulder buttons, USB C port, and if I remove this, that's some ASMR enjoyment for you guys. And the back, oh wow, it somehow has the whole Nintendo Switch logo. Like I saw pictures of it online, I don't think it really has that logo. But man, this is pretty new for a Pro Controller. Like, I know the other Pro Controllers just have the Nintendo logo, but still, this is new. The front of it, we have, like, the additional A, B, X, Y, thumbsticks, D-pad, sorry, plus, minus, home and capture buttons, feel for it. I thought the D-pad will also have the same treatment that they use in the Xenoblade 2 controller. Some six are like this. 
All in all, this controller doesn't look too shabby, I would say, in terms of the design or whatnot. Yeah. And that's basically all I have for this video, but don't click away yet, as I will try to load this game on my Switch, and also, like I did with the Xenoblade 3 to the Fire Emblem Engage video, I'll show up the Switch Online icon, so let's get into it. Alright, so I have my Switch here, uh, it's a little off right now. But before I turn it on and show you the icons for the game and also the Switch Online profile icons, uh, here's a little comparison between the box arts for Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Side, back, other side, and here are a quick comparison of the cartridges. So, this is Breath of the Wild, and this is Tears of the Kingdom right here. And yeah, that's basically the comparison between the two. Let's now fire up my Switch. And as I have both cards right here, let's pop in Breath of the Wild first to see the game icon in here. So that's the icon for Breath of the Wild. And here we go with Tears of the Kingdom. Installing it on my Switch. In 3, 2, 1. Take a look at that. It may be a bit blurry on my camera, but the game icon for Tears of the Kingdom looks way better than Breath of the Wild. And yeah, let's see if it has any updates. Despite being day one, and it is updating. So, as that updates, let's look at the Switch Online icons. to Mission Warrants, and here are all the icons, no wait, that's Animal Crossing, <laughs> here are all the icons for Tears of the Kingdom. So far we have like, four Links, uh, two Zeldas, whoever that villain is, and a bunch of icons. Um, I think it's best if I go for this Tears in the Kingdom link and the other and the Zelda first. That's what I mean to say. There also is three other links and one other Zelda. Uh, for backgrounds, let's go for these two. And let's go, let's get this uh, frame, and maybe this frame. And why got those frames, the game's done updating. Wow. Let's go back to create an icon. We'll see Tears of the Kingdom right here. And let's create one. So, frame, let's go with this one. Character, let's do link first. And background, maybe this. Okay. Not too bad of an icon. Let's create another one. Now we have uh, Zelda. So, this one, Zelda. And yeah, those are the two icons for Tears of Kingdom. So that's basically all for this video. 
So, I hope you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next video.